Okay. I'm going to speak a little about, like, I find out in the Bible, we are in hell. If you, I've been looking in Netflix, the movie, The Good Place, and it's very, very interesting. So where we are right now is they, they tell us when we die, we go to heaven and all this stuff, but in reality, we are in hell already, okay? That's why I've been, been telling you with your own Bible, we are in hell, and it's more deeply than that, but I'm going to make a little video about this because it's very interesting. And the movie, if you see the movie, The Good Place, they can tell you they always been watching like I prove in the Bible everything is being recorded. They watching us all the time, okay? Because they want our souls. They fighting for our souls. Okay. Let's see a little this. One order. I don't accept this offer. The real mistakes were Jason and Ella. Back, back, back. You said I need two of us. It's me and Chidi. Let's do it to it. Michael, I just found an obscure precedent in the rules that might just save everything. Fuck off, Mama John. Don't need it. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Ready when you are, boss. Hello, what's going on? It took me a while to figure it out. But just now, as we were all fighting, yelling at each other, and each one of us demanding we should go to the bad place, I thought to myself, this is torture. And then it hit me. They're never going to call a train to take us to the bad place. They can't. Because we're already here. This is the bad place. Ta-da! Yes. They tell you in movies, this is the bad place. Even in movies. Okay, he is the architect. If you see the movie, he's the architect who con who who made this place. Who is a simulation? You can see the movie is just a simulation. <laughs> oh man! I can't believe you figured it out. <laughs> oh God! You do ruin everything. You know that? Okay, I watch all the movie, and in the end, all the all the all the series is like the end is the beginning, and the beginning is the end. Okay, if you watch this movie; it's very interesting, very interesting. Even they talk about Janet. You have to watch this movie because Janet is like, they know everything about the universe. Like, it's like a advanced AI. And when I, when I see the, the videos of Jesus, Gnostic Jesus, when they talk in videos and they ask, you can tell us how is our end. And Jesus answered, you know the beginning or something for know the end. So in this movie, they know, this movie is telling you, the beginning is the end, and the end is the beginning. We are in a cycle. And if you see in the end of the movie, it's like a little light in the end. Who was us? Because I watched that and I see that in my dream. But with the difference, that little light you would see in the end of the movie, they have crystal in form of a cube. That we are inside of a crystal cube. Crystal, the crystal, like glass. Crystal, I see in my dream that. That's why I know when I see that, I say, yeah, yeah, I see that before in my dreams. 
uh, it's very interesting so we the architect is telling you you always you guys figure it out so now he's doing it again and he's going to erase our memories again to do this again unless we figure it out how escape so uh, they tried to block me um well I, I want to say something else, but I, I don't know. Uh, okay, so this is like a test or something. Test. So I'm going to. I don't know how even start. This is the bad place. Let's put it this. They tell you in movies, okay? Guy, this world, it's a video game. And it's full of bad guys. This is the bad place for the bad guys. This is hell. Okay? And it's a, where if people don't understand this. The Bible say that the kingdom is like a net. These people who control all this technology, they, ha they have our souls already. And they put us in different simulations like a movie. Do you see a movie? A terror movie? Okay, they can put you in that simulation they can make it for you that is hell the real hell horrible or they can put you another simulation like it's a, a good place no uh, 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 but in bad it still is the bad place because they manage all this it's a bad it's the bad place in the end only they our brain think oh we are in a nice place because they put us in a nice place but the bad guys is who control the nice place either, like you would call heaven, okay? This is a big fat lie, okay? I'm going to prove in the Bible some stuff too. You don't believe we are in a simulation. So I want to put more videos. They, the architect always says, we've been watching you. If you do something bad, and you say, for example, oh, nobody wants to watch me if I do this. They, the architect laugh and say, we will watching you. You have to see, just in the beginning of the movie is very interesting. You have to watch. So, let's, let's do a little talk here. Because you don't believe in movies, songs. I told you, every song and every movie is telling you things. They're, go they're going to tell you. You know, when people scream out, well, we didn't know, we didn't know, how could you have tricked us, how could you lie to us through the religions? They're going to tell you, you know, for the last 50 or 60... I'm telling you, religious, in your own Bible, your own Bible, because this is like a game, is telling you, who teach you the Bible, didn't go, they don't go past. So if they don't go past, you don't go, you don't go past. You go past where? I will talk, past where? I will show you in a video, okay? Because we are trapped here. 50 years at least through, the, through electronics and through everything else. We tried to show you, we showed you in movies, we, we showed you in songs, we showed you in things that were subversive and we showed you in things that were not so subversive, but you didn't pay attention. See, you didn't pay attention. All of the movies, all of the songs, they all have meanings, but you never stop to think. What are these meanings? What are they talking about? You never investigated. And see, they know that, and so it just perpetuates. It's a perpetual emotion that they know that people don't care. And you know what? It goes to the point and the fact that people don't care, even to the point that even if they know that they lied to, as long as you're getting a paycheck, they're happy with that. See, and they learned this a long, long, long time ago. And see, and so when a day does come, uh, the, I don't mean the day of reckoning standing before the Lord. I'm talking about their day of reckoning when they're going to drop drop all the crap on you and open it up and say, here, ta-da, here's a reward. Uh, okay, yeah. They've been telling you because this is a game. That he said the bad guys have his rules and they had to show you and they show you in all our faces in every movie and every song they're going to kill us. They're going to make repeat the cycle again. So we never escape if you don't pay attention. 
because you are too worried to mature things when it's supposed you are on Bible telling you don't pay attention to material things to the flesh things and you only do that you are war 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 because you want material things material things you have a nice life and you never pay attention the devil thing or the demons thing or wherever they are they've been tricking you with us with that stuff okay uh, let's see what more is I'm saying that there's another world on top of this one. That's right. We're nothing but a simulation on some computer. So who's in control? <laughs> Who are in control? Are the bad guys? The bad guys, because we are in the bad place. So the history himself is going to repeat. Let me show you. Use what I find here. It's like, okay, check this out. Your body is not who you are. You shed it like a snake sheds its skin. You transfer the human consciousness between bodies. Did you see the little thing? I see in the little... Uh, where is the thing we pass it? This thing. I see that in the movie. Seals... What is the Netflix? Uh, something about seals with the gods. When you die, they take your soul. They show you in the movie. They take your soul when you die, and they make you pass to the to the uh, to the next life. It's very interesting. Uh, the blood of Zeus, I guess, is the name. Okay, so pay attention in this. To live eternal life. I don't live to die. 250 years. You are the property of Bangkok Industries. You've been provided with this body. You see, when they when they talk, you are the property. I make a video in the own Bible is telling you we are product of Elohim. Who are them? Because they lie to us in everything. They make these bodies. It's like you make, like a company makes cell phones. In the movie, they call fundas in Spanish and it's lay, it's, it's leaves in English, who's, who you read it sound like slaves, like slave prisoners, slaves. Yeah, it's, they say it's lay, it's leaves, but it's slaves. <laughs> it's the same thing. They call us slaves in the movie. Okay, the body is the, you know, the prison for us, slaves. Uh, what else? She came equipped with military grade neurochem and combat muscle memory. Okay, here. You shed it like a snake sheds its skin. You transfer the human consciousness. You see this? Human consciousness transfer. This, I see this in the movie The Blood of Zeus, something like that. In Netflix, and I see this in real life. We're going to repeat, we're going to repeat the same mistake over and over and over and over. The same mistake, we're going to continue the cycle because we didn't figure it out. Well, I figured it out, and another people figured it out. Okay, so you see this thing now. Let's Oh, let's see a little um, about this one too. In the 21st century, human consciousness was digitalized and stored in devices that came to be called stacks. This is an age where human flesh is called a sleeve. Death of the body is no longer the end, as long as one protects their stack. Yeah, they give us eternal life. You ain't waiting for eternal life, eternal life. But who give us the eternal life are the bad guys. The bad guys of the movie. Okay? They lie to us. They're tricking us. So you have to wake up. So let's see. This is real. This is happening. Do you see the thing I show you here? The thing for 
transfer consciousness? Well, see this in this video because this is, we're going to make the same mistake again. We're going to die again. One, we're going to be deep, low, low, once again. It's going to be in one point we cannot escape anymore. We're going to do the same cycle. We're going to repeat the same cycle because we never figured it out. It's slaves. <laughs> Okay, this this song very good. Eternal life, eternal life. Like everybody wanna live forever, but you have to think, they can make they they control right now all the technology. They can make hell your next life, every single life you can have. They can make hell. Okay, they telling you, you're going to do the same mistake again, because you're afraid to die. It's nothing to afraid. It's I don't know how to explain, but it's like I think we die. This already happened. This already happened, and it's going to happen again. We die a lot of times already. We are dead. We are the dead. So we you we don't remember. We don't remember because they erase our memories. Okay, this is real. So let's check it out a little. The Bible what they talking about okay yeah this is the bad guys this is the bad guys side with the devil kingdom okay this is the devil kingdom it's full of bad guys i'm a rule breaker i'm a rattle chicka 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 snake okay they tell you in movies they tell you what is going on you don't want to pay attention this is not real it's just it's an assimilation and you're going to be a trap again in this simulation. This video we found out the womb is the matrix and birth is the opening of the matrix. In other words, birth is the doorway or gateway of the matrix. Therefore, the fruit of the womb in Psalm 127 is the fruit of the matrix and the fruit that passes through the gateway of the matrix. This fruit, the children, it says, are the heritage of Yahweh. Those who pass through the gateway of the matrix are a reward. So Yahweh put the beloved to sleep, and the passage through the gateway is a reward. Okay, let's look for more scriptural confirmation of this. In Proverbs 3.32, we're told that Yahweh's secret is with the righteous, and Job 14 indicates that this secret is a hidden grave. In Job 14, 12 through 14, it says humans will sleep and awaken when the heavens are gone, that they will be hidden in a grave and kept secret until the wrath has passed, waiting all the days of their appointed time until the change. The filler words that King James added here imply that Job is simply wishing here that death will only sleep. And that makes sense. But verses 16 through 18 add a few clues to this. It says Job's steps are numbered and his transgression sealed up in a bag. And that's a bit odd. Then it adds that falling mountains come to nothing and this is an important clue because remember what jesus said about falling mountains in mark eleven twenty three, he says that mountains can be moved by belief alone 
a simulation. So could he have been referring to Job's secret hidden grave sealed up in a bag where falling mountains come to nothing? Modal Psalm 90 mentions the mountains again in reference to sleep. In verses 1 through 5, it says Adonai, this word translated as Lord, and number 136 is Adonai. It says Adonai has been our dwelling place in all generations before the mountains were brought forth. Then look at verses 3 and 5. It says the children of men are as a sleep. A thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday. Second Peter 3.8 confirms this again when it says one day with the Lord is as a thousand years. In other words, a thousand years for us is only one day for the Lord. If we take this literally and a thousand years for us is only 24 hours for the Lord, then 500 years for us would be 12 hours for the Lord, 250 years for us would be 6 hours for the Lord, 125 years for us would be three hours for the Lord, and 62 and a half years for us would be one and a half hours for the Lord. The average human lifespan is currently 79 years. So if we take a thousand years and divide that by 24 hours in one day, that gives us roughly 42 years per hour. If a person lived to be twice that amount, 84 years old, only two hours would have passed from the Lord's point of view. The current human lifespan of 79 years. It okay, they try to explain if we live 80 years, kind of, we are two hours only in the simulation, two hours. If we live 40 years, we are one hour in the simulation. It's less than two hours in God's world. So when Job talks about waiting in the secret grave for the appointed time, he may be talking about two hours, which for us is a long time. An entire lifetime for us is only two hours for God. How could this be possible? Only if it were a dream, a controlled dream-like state where our steps can literally be numbered, where mountains can be moved with words, and their falling comes to nothing. Okay, look at some... Okay, this, the Bible even proved we are dreaming. We are inside a kind of simulation. We are dreaming. Okay, uh, Yahweh or the Lord... God is going to wake and wake us, wake up us. No, to another people are sleeping because they don't want to wake up. They going, and they going with the devil or with a a simulation with a what I show you with a a um, they block me with a life um eternal life to continue this simulation over and over and over again because they never figured it out we are in a simulation in a dream state okay so they say they i see clear some people going to pass some people not they're telling you in movies they're telling you in songs they tell you everywhere but you never figured it out. We are in a simulation. And here, you have to learn. You have to learn your lesson how you be a good, how, how really mean be a human. That's why you have, you're going to pass it. If you don't learn nothing, you're going to continue to learn with the dream machine over and over again until you learn because you don't learn nothing. Okay, so you have to wake up in this life and be free. And I don't know what happened after because I don't know everything. <laughs> it's the only thing we know. We are in the simulation. And if we are in here in this simulation, I don't know. It's a test for what 
what well, in some part of movies they say because we are the inspiration or something for the new humans for for humanity to save humanity or something it's, and i see that in the movie like in in the bible say we are the going to herit heritage of yahweh and she talked about the game the heritage of yahweh who is going to have the kingdom who is going to have the net so the new world who passed this test i guess they're going to control this simulation but not the simulation of the bad guy the bad the, these people who don't wake up they go with the bad guy what you call the devil and that who pass they're going to be in another kind of simulation but they're going to be the heritage i mean they i think it, they're going to be the owners or the kingdom or some kind of kingdom like technology so they can do something different maybe okay something like that so they telling you in with your own bible we are dreaming this life is just a simulation and i ask a lot of people at supernatural things that's why i know we are we are in a simulation in another a lot of people know we are in the dream state just dreaming and these demons they want you to fail they put you different things different stuff like for example my last one was like i buy something for 400 something 430 dollars i guess some machine i needed and and i they never sent me the thing so i opened a case in paypal and they give me my money back and and then the company sent me they sent me after two three weeks that they arrived the thing so i can't have like, the money like how much i say 400 three, no 330 or something like that i have i can't have the machine and keep the money for me for free but no it's a lot of money and it, it's a machine that was good for me because they convert the water in healthy water for me so i can i can win things money in the machine for my healthy but i return it i return it that's how they test you with different kind of stuff okay it's it's not that it's people come to your life it's different type different i have different tests so you have to figure it out you've been tested all the time and they want you fall because they don't want you pass this test and get out of the prison house of the devil thing like the bible say okay and they watching you the bible say they watching you every single thing they do they watching you because we are inside a simulation a dream and I can put you movies and movies and movies and teach you we are inside a simulation. Our consciousness has been transferred to this body because this body is just an avatar. Okay? They call it slaves. <laughs> slaves, slaves, slaves. <laughs> okay? 